This time this video is about the FTC banning fake reviews, but keep in mind that my IQ matches the amount of views that this video has. Hello players, welcome to Sexy Tech. Everyone is welcome, all faces, all ages. Well, well, not all ages, we're better than Dr. Disrespect. Yes, the only tech news show too sexy for the algorithm. Algorithm is the former president's DJ name. My stage name can be found on my OnlyFans. I'm your tech jester, Buzz Stringer, and it's good news this time. So, so what's cooking in the land of overpriced gadgets and underwhelming innovation? The FTC, those fun-killing buzzword-spitting bureaucrats, finally decided to do something useful. They've just voted to ban fake online reviews and those inflated social media influencers that we all love to hate, like Logan Paul. Yeah, so that means starting in October, 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 it's turning in October, you can no longer pay for bots to blow up your follower count. So, sorry influencers, it's back to the old fashioned way of building a career through self respect and talent. And, oh, oh wait, never mind, I'm screwed. I look forward to your comments. Lena Khan, the FTC chairwoman and certified gangster, said fake reviews waste people's time and money, and I'm tired of explaining to my mum why the magic anti wrinkle cream she bought from Amazon turned out to be mayonnaise in a jar. Well, she didn't exactly say that, but you get, you get the point. Now this ban is a big deal, the kind of big deal that makes YouTube's new policy on unskippable ads look like child's play. Amazon, the granddaddy pimp of all things e-commerce, is probably sweating ring cameras right now. Before this, Amazon sued 10,000 Facebook group admins for fake reviews. That, that's, a, that's a lot of fake reviews. And that's just the ones that they found. If the FTC finds fake reviews, they'll start handing out fines like Oprah hands out cars. You get a fine, and you get a fine, and everyone gets a fine. Speaking of fines, you're looking fine. But if you're running one of those sketchy sites with hundreds of thousands of fake reviews, you better hope you've got a Scrooge McDuck vault to swim in because those penalties could come down and you fasten Logan Paul's dignity when he creates another crypto scam. I look forward to your comments. That's two Logan Paul things in one video. I don't know. The real fun begins when we talk about our favorite influencers. You know the ones, those authentic creators who are about as real as stepsisters on Pornhub. The ones who have tech shows that only exist in the darkest parts of YouTube. If you thought buying followers was the ultimate hustle, you may need to think again because the FTC's new rule means that you'll have to do something that we've never done before. Be honest, on the internet. Well, it's an original idea, I'll give them that. Now, Yelp isn't doing too bad. They say they've been policing fake reviews. Yeah, okay, we, we believe you. Kind of like Meta saying they've been protecting our privacy. Violations will cost big money, like I just got a divorce from Jess Bezos money. He, he does it a lot. If, uh, <laughs> if, you're, caught, if you're caught with fake, fake reviews, the fines could stack up quicker than the body count in a John Wick movie. And this means that some of these e-commerce sites are going to be facing penalties bigger than Linus Tech Tips Ego. Just kidding, I'm always just kidding. That's, that's the whole show. <laughs> and for you TikTok influencers with more bots than a sci-fi convention, I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted because the FTC is about to make sure your business model is about sustainable as a fire festival ticket. If you <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet, do it and come back for round two. This this it's always just as fun, or just as bad. I I really need to work out what happens here because normally I read comments, but when I do record two shows back to back, I've got nothing. Suggestions below. Oh, I was thinking about reading your jokes. Like you write a joke and I read it here with a straight face, but I I don't know if I want to get cancelled this early. <laughs> Stay sexy and be excellent to each other. I tried to write a review for my vacuum cleaner, but it sucked.